The thing about convict leasing, it was worse than slavery because during slavery, as bad as it sounds, the enslaved individuals were an investment for the slave owner. Therefore, the slave owner did not want to kill or destroy their investment. Under the convict leasing, they worked individuals to death because if those convicts died, then the state just sent replacement convicts. We're at the African American Monument on the Capitol grounds in Austin, Texas. Uh, behind me, you can see the convict leasing uh, uh, symbol in the monument. Uh, individuals were uh, picked up for vagrancy laws or violations of uh, many black codes that were created uh, once they were put on these prison forms or uh, old plantations uh, because the manual labor was needed uh, to uh, plant and harvest the crops uh, and many companies would lease out from the state convicts, but it wasn't just convicts. Uh, primarily they were targeting Negroes. And there in Sugarland, Fort Bend ISD, where I was building uh, a new school and they happened to discover 95 remains, 94 men and one woman. And these individuals were part of the convict leasing system from the early 1870s up through 1912. Uh, these individuals ranged in various ages from 14 to 70. Uh, so the convict leasing system also re-enslaved children. Um, I think there are some records of individuals as young as eight or nine years old. We are uh, on the Capitol grounds in Austin, uh, in front, uh, on the south side, uh, in front of the Confederate dead monument, died for states' rights. Uh, guaranteed under the Constitution, but the right to do what? So these individuals died for the right to uh, keep individuals, human beings, enslaved. And you know, as we work on the memorialization of the Sugarland 95, I believe we need to expand the narrative and tell the truth and the full history of what happened. Tell the full history of what happened. I think the uh, Confederate monuments tell one version I think it's a distorted version and it's not the full history nor is it the truth of what happened. The convict labor and leasing project is not just about commemorating the history of convict leasing but also how the labor was used not just in the past but even today how individuals through mass incarceration are still being exploited. There's an unsweet story about Sugarland and an unsweet story about Texas. So regardless of what happens with the remains in Sugarland, there's still a story that needs to be told.